V. I. Lenin. Plan of the Pamphlet The Tax in Kind. See footnote. Lenin began to work on the Tax and Kind pamphlet at the end of March 1921, just after the Tenth Party Congress, and finished it on April 21. He attached great importance to its earliest publication and distribution, because it explained the necessity of transition to the new economic policy. In early May, it was published as a pamphlet, and was soon after carried by the magazine Krasnaya in November No. 1. It later appeared in pamphlet form in many towns, and was reprinted in part and in full in central and local papers. In 1921, it was translated into German, English and French. A special resolution of the Central Committee instructed all regional, Galernia and UISD party committees to use the pamphlet to explain the new economic policy to the working people. End of footnote. Written late March and early April of 1921. Published according to the manuscript, source, Lenin's Collected Works, 1st English Edition, Progress Publishers, Moscow, 1965, Volume 32, pages 320-328. 1. Et moi. Approximately. Editor's Note. 1. General Significance of the Tax. Retreat? Advance? to commodity exchange. Is it another breast? Transition from surplus grain appropriation, appropriation of surplus stocks, to commodity exchange. War communism versus proper economic relations. 2. The tax and unrestricted trade. The tax and unrestricted trade. Unrestricted trade versus the economic base, local trade, of small-scale economy. Versus the political power of the proletariat versus concessions. Scope and confessions for a free market. 3. The middle peasant. Leveling up, is it a stake on the Kulik? Or the middle peasant. Leveling up. The industrious peasant. Greater output. 4. Methods of transition to socialist agriculture. The small peasant, collective farms, electrification. 5. Cooperatives. 6. The struggle against the evils of bureaucracy, its economic roots. 7. The international situation and internal relations. 8. Party and political crises, 1920-21. Mensheviks plus socialist revolutionaries plus anarchists, Kronstadt. 9. Agreement with the peasantry? Or dictatorship? 10. Non-party conferences. 2. Plan of pamphlet. To convey the meaning more precisely, the substitution of a tax the appropriation system in view of the specific conditions and the general tasks of the present political situation. The substitution of a tax for surplus grain appropriation and agreement with the peasantry, or the tasks of a worker's government in a peasant country, and the tasks of the working class in respect of the peasantry. The substitution of a tax for or the appropriation system in view of the present political situation. The substitution of a tax for the appropriation system, its significance in principle, from war communism to a proper socialist foundation. The economic essence and foundation of socialism is neither appropriation nor tax, but exchange of the product of large-scale, socialized, industry for peasant produce. The appropriation system is not an ideal, but a sad and bitter necessity. The opposite view is a dangerous mistake. The appropriation system and the apparatus. We should have perished long ago but for the apparatus. Unless we wage a systematic and persevering struggle to improve it we shall perish before we manage to lay the foundation of socialism. The alliance of the workers and peasants equals C prime. And C prime of the Soviet power. Necessary and adequate condition for its stability. This alliance against Denikin and company is not the same as the alliance, the same one, in economic organization. The first equals bourgeois revolution. The second equals socialist revolution. Transition from war to construction. Ninth Congress 1920, CF. April 1918, versus 10th Congress, March 1921. Switch from appropriation to regular commodity exchange. 
the tax is in principle compatible with a free market in grain and other products. Formal democracy versus the reality of class relations over the tax and other similar questions. Coercion plus persuasion, inappropriation in the tax and commodity exchange. How much free trade is there to be? After paying the tax. Scope for experiment, practice. Tasks of local officials. Small trade, tasks of local authorities. Type of economic relations or the economic system before the proletarian revolution in a number of major countries equals concentration at the top. Unrestricted peasant trade at the bottom of species of state capitalism, cf. April 1918. Stake on the middle peasant? On the Kulik? Restoration of bourgeois relationships? Leveling up of the rural areas? The poor peasants? Or given an equalitarian redistribution? Or given landowners land? Or given opportunity to take from the Kulaks? Or given extraordinary assistance by the state? The pivoting touchstone will now be, is, an increase in products, of, program of the RCP, and hence, the stake on the middle peasant in agriculture. The industrious peasant as the central figure of our economic revival. Individual commodity exchange. Role of the collective farms, many stupid timings have been done. Prosecution for failure to implement the law and incompetence, three years. Is socialism to fear the individualism of the peasant and his free trade? No. Electrification, the yardstick. A long-range plan, but a plan and, ergo, a criterion. Every plan is a yardstick, a criterion, a beacon, a landmark, etc. If we have electrification within 10 to 20 years, there is nothing to fear from the individualism of the small farmer and his unrestricted trade and local exchange. If we have no electrification, a return to capitalism is inevitable in any case. The international situation is now favorable, a new equilibrium. Their disintegration, our consolidation. Entente versus Germany. America versus Japan, and Great Britain. America versus Europe. The imperialist world versus Asia. One seventh, four sevenths. 0 0.250 times 7 equals 1.75. A thousand million out of 1,750. Ten or twenty years of regular relations with the peasantry and victory is assured on a world scale, even if there is delay in the proletarian revolutions, which are maturing, otherwise twenty to forty years of tormenting wide guard terror. Ah taught. Tertium non cletur. Either or. There is no third road, editor's note. Note a Benny. Agreement with the peasantry? Constituent assembly, overt or covert, voting, change of constitution, socialist revolutionaries, Mensheviks plus anarchists, cooperatives, their economic and political, Mensheviks and socialist revolutionaries, aspects, ambiguity of the notion of agreement, particularly versus dictatorship, experience and lessons of Kronstadt, new feature in the political history of Soviet power uncompromising struggle against Mensheviks, socialist revolutionaries, anarchists. Quid est politica? What is politics? Editor's note. 1. The vanguard of the proletariat and its mass. 2. The proletariat and the peasantry. 3. The proletariat, and the peasantry, and the bourgeoisie. Note a Benny. Weariness, exhaustion, despair lack of strength, respite. Evils of bureaucracy, judge and talk, counterpart. Editor's note. Among working class and among the peasants, top section worn out, promotion of new people from lower ranks equals, alpha, young people, beta, non-party people. Nota bene, nota bene. Anarchism and the Marxist struggle against it. Despair? The pace is not what it should be, in wartime and peacetime construction. In April 1918 and in April 1920, we imagined transition from the war to peacetime construction to be a simple one on the same lines of policy. The transition is a complex one, relations with the peasantry are different, the pace is different, the situation is different. 
Demobilization of the Army. Banditry. Devastation. Seven years of war. Either a wide guard reign of terror, or the dictatorship of the proletariat, its, relaxing, leadership. What is so terrible about the word dictatorship? Note to Ben. The non party peasant as are a yardstick, a criterion, a counselor, and a slogan, equals socialist revolutionaries and Mensheviks. Vote? Overthrow the government? Or seek accord with it? Non party conferences are not an absolute political weapon of the Mensheviks and socialist revolutionaries plus anarchists. Cavent consuls. Let the consuls beware. Editor's note. It is a well-tried trick of conventional bourgeois party politics and bourgeois parliamentarism to try to catch one through concessions. But we reject the very basis of bourgeois parliamentarism, and conventional, bourgeois, party politics. Nota Benny. The economic foundations for the withering away of the state, the state and revolution. In this case we also have the economic foundations for the withering away of bureaucracy the top section and lower ranks, inequality, cf. First steps from capitalism to communism. The economic basis of socialism is not yet there. What is this basis? It is commodity exchange with the peasantry. Nota Beni. Combating the evils of bureaucracy. Nota Beni, Nota Beni. Plus note. Significance of the political crisis in spring, February to March, 1921. Transitions, and Party Crisis, November or September 1920 to March 1921. Adapt the party's top section to its mass or vice versa. The party to the masses, proletariat plus then the peasantry, or vice versa. 3. State capitalism not terrible but desirable. Examples. 1. Concessions. 2. Cooperatives. 3. Commission agents. 4. Leases. Unorganized capitalism, learning from state capitalism. Elemental, Salamu, 1794 vs. 1921. All within proper limits and on definite terms. What are these limits? Experience will show. One quarter, et moi. Trade mainly and primarily. Tax in kind and trade. Combating profits erring. Quid est. Instructions to food supply workers, 100 plus 100, equals 200% sigma, 100 plus 25, 60 plus 60, these, 3 and 4, forms are weak, because we are weak and stupid. CF. Bureaucratic Practices. Free Market, Alpha, to develop the productive forces of peasant farming, Beta, to develop small industry, Gamma, to combat the evils of bureaucracy. Limits. Terms. Practice will show. Food supply worker. Collect. 100%. 100 plus 100 equals 200. Et moi, 100 plus 25 equals 125. 60 plus 60 equals 120. Combating profiteering. Quidditch. Political aspect. Petty bourgeois element will overthrow. May 5, 1918. Example of the French Revolution, cf. November 10, 1918. Antikotsky. Pessimism or Optimism. Calculation of Forces. Sober Approach and Fervent Dedication. 4. Conclusion et moi. Transition to Politics. Economics in the Spring of 1921 Transformed into Politics, Kronstadt. Role of Socialist Revolutionaries plus Mensheviks, Dan, Rosko and Co., Martov and Co. A slight shift, to the right or the left, makes no difference. Milyakov is more intelligent than Chernov and Martov, it is not so difficult to be more intelligent than these conceited fools, phrase mongers and knights of the petty bourgeois doctrine, 1789 1848-1920. Their place is in prison and not at a non-party conference. 1794 vs. 1921 Vacillation of the elements. Quidest elements, and firmness. Selection and promotion of men. Pessimism or optimism. 
a most sober appraisal of the evil and the difficulties. Dedication in the struggle. Sigma, Sigma. Summary. 1. Trade. Quid est. 2. Small industry. Where are the raw materials? 3. Exchange. 4. Capitalism. 5. State capitalism. 6. Local initiative. 7. Mensheviks and socialist revolutionaries plus non-party people. End of Plan of the Pamphlet The Tax in Kind by V.I. Lenin